Tonight is National Night Out in Bloomington. A great chance for good food and better company. It's just kind of a time to get to know our neighbors and to intermingle. The 32nd annual National Night Out brought block parties to churches, apartment complexes, and homes. I have been doing this 18 years in the neighborhood. Uh, it's been going on uh, 25 plus years in this neighborhood. Everybody shows. We all have a good time. I am like playing with my friends, eating food, having fun with the fire trucks and all the stuff. While our camera crew missed the fire trucks, these kids couldn't stop talking about it. It was really fun. We had to go in the, the, the driver's seat. You know, so fun. We didn't, and, and then we went into the big one. It was so fun. They had a small one that came first and then a big one came. It was awesome. Law enforcement officials stopped by many parties around town. There you go. It was all in an effort to build relationships with the community. I think it's wonderful. I think it's it's important we do this, and especially when we involve the the uh, police and the firefighters. Um, and it's a time when we can talk about crime prevention and just safety in general. Whether it's the Bloomington Police or the fire department, it's just great for young and old, all of us, to visit with them and get to know each other. While these special visits were a highlight for many, food was also the talk of the town. It tasted really yummy, and I don't think I'm going to eat dinner because I ate a lot tonight. These kids also liked the gifts their block captain handed out. I got a backpack, some notebooks, and some other stuff like rulers and pencils and erasers and stuff to get ready for school. And before I wasn't ready, but now I am. A successful summer night for community members and law enforcement alike.